Hey guys, I'm coming at you with another one of things that foreigners need to look out for in the Philippines. Uh, because you are a foreigner, you are going to pay more. I've said that many times in many other videos. Earlier I made a video about how I ended up getting charged uh, about six times the amount of what I should have gotten charged to have my laundry done. It cost $15 to do this. And uh, in the United States, that little bit of clothes would have only cost uh, $5 to uh, wash and dry. And I don't need somebody to fold my clothes for me. Uh, they just get put on anyway, right? In any case, I walked down to the laundromat and I had this bag of clothes and I was only about a third of a kilometer from the hotel here. But I decided, ah, oh, you know, I'll take a little ride. There are a lot of beggars out this time of night, professional beggars uh, that I've talked about before. Anytime you see a beggar that's like in pajamas or they have their baby slung over their shoulders uh, or over their shoulder with a sling, they are not actually poor. Uh, many of them make over $1,000 per week in their own pocket after they pay their pimp. Uh, their guy that keeps them safe and whoops the foreigners' asses every now and again when they deem necessary. I wanted to avoid them with a handful of stuff because when you're passing them, you need to keep your hands in your pockets because the kids will come up and put their hands in your pocket. I've experienced this several times, and they will remove your wallet and run. So something you need to watch out for. In any case, this was a ride that should have cost about 10 pesos. It was only about one minute long. And I asked the guy if he could take me over here. He said, yes. I said, 50. He goes, 100. There's nothing you can do about it. You're either going to pay what they tell you to pay or you're going to walk. So I just thought, ah, oh, whatever. I'll just pay. So as we're going, we get 100 meters down the street, a guy in another tricycle, electric bike, pulls up beside and starts talking to the guy that was driving me about me. He then decided that he didn't want 100 pesos. He decided that today was his birthday, which maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, who knows and that he wanted American money. I don't have any American money. All I have is 1,000 peso bills. I had a 500 peso bill. I had a 50 peso bill. So here's what to learn, the, what I learned through this. And I've experienced this before. I should have known better. I should have checked the money in my pocket before I left. If you don't have exact change to give these people, they just suddenly don't know how to give you change. They just forget. So I asked the guy if he has change for 500. No, he doesn't. So I asked him if he just had 300 in change. I'm offering to give him 200. No, it's my birthday, my birthday, my birthday. He was not going to wait for me to try to find change. And finding change was not something you can always guarantee. I had no choice but to give this guy 500 pesos for a 10 peso ride, $9.50 to drive me a few hundred meters. Joke's on me. Those are the kinds of things you're gonna experience while you're here. I talked to some American Filipinos about this two weeks ago. They saw me in Jollibee. I thought it was quite peculiar that they were using toilet paper to blow their nose. Uh, using toilet paper, paper towels, napkins, uh, stuff like that are not something that's common to Filipinos. So I kind of thought, oh, you know, these are, you know, social people. Social people is the word that they use to describe as rich. Uh, and then they started speaking to me in perfect American English. They had lived in the United States uh, for over 30 years. Uh, had professions there, retired, and came back here quite often to visit. We were talking about this dynamic of the expectation of the Westerner and 
they told me that even they themselves are very careful, even though they look 100% Filipino, they don't look American, they are Filipino, they dress like Filipinos, they will not speak in English, they'll only speak in Tagalog, and they'll, they'll, they're very careful about their dialect to make sure that the locals don't believe they're Westerners, because if the locals knew they were Westerners, they would take them for all the money they had. It just cost me 500 pesos for a 10 peso ride lessons. If you can do it yourself, do it yourself. If you're going to use the services of someone else, have the exact amount that you agreed upon. If you are trying to get the best deal for services from someone else, have a Filipino make the deal. And even if you have the Filipino make the deal, there's no guarantee that you're actually going to get the deal that you that the Filipino made. I will send my wife to go make the deal with me back behind the corner. She'll make the deal, and then I'll walk around the corner to get in the car or do whatever, pay for whatever. And the Filipino will immediately become angry and aggressive that they have somehow been cheated out of cheating a Westerner. Stuff to look out for, guys. You got to think about this stuff when you're here.